Hello and welcome to season two of Moment of Stillness, or MOS for short. My name is Frido, and over the next five episodes, I'll share with you tips, tricks, techniques, and processes that I have learned to spend some time with my notebook, a pen, and one of my favorite beverages, a cup of tea, or sometimes a cup of coffee. The inspiration for MOS came from conversations I've had with friends that said, I wish I could draw. And to me, I always felt that I was never particularly good at drawing too. When I entered art school, one of the first things we had to do is put pen to paper and visualize objects that the teacher had brought in. And I was shocked to see how good everybody else around me was. It was kind of embarrassing because I had a steep hill ahead of me in learning how to visualize these objects. However, there are some very simple techniques that I have picked up to help make things look like they're three-dimensional. And so in these episodes, I'll share with you how to construct basic geometry, cylinders, cubes, rectangles, cones, and spheres. And my hope is that with these simple techniques, you too will be able to be in the moment with some of the things that are around you that are sitting on your table or that you see at a coffee shop or at any other place that you might have a break from your everyday life to spend some time with your notebook, pen and paper. Specifically, I'll share with you perspective and the simple principles behind it. I'll also go over some techniques on how to indicate different materials, glass, wood, and so forth. And then finally, I'll add some shading and shadows and the behavior of light to it to really make these things pop. All I'm going to be using is a simple notebook, in this case, BK's grid notebook, and a fountain pen. You can sketch along with me or you can watch the episodes first to absorb the information. And then later on, I will encourage you to try some of these techniques yourself. The more you have these moments of practice time, the moments of stillness where it's just you and your paper, pen and the objects that you're observing, the better you will get at visualizing these objects in your notebook. This is not about perfection. This is about trial and mileage, and hopefully being able to learn how to see things all anew. So come along, join me on this journey. I'm excited to share what I have learned over the years with you over the next five episodes.